Gentlemen, if I have your attention, and I should, allow me to introduce to you my client and close personal friend, the champion, your champion, Chris Jackson. Your champion speaks. See that? That, my friend, is a decent person. That, my friend, is a grown man. That's an adult. That's how you carry yourself. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You look good, Paul. You always look good. Hell, we always look good. Always. Always. There's no reason not to. I came out here, Paul make a point no 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 let me stop lying cuz I'm a bad liar Paul I'm a horrible liar let me I don't I don't let me be more honest about this I came out here to run my mouth as usual right Paul I came out here to sit up here and make a few points my friend let the first point be and I'm going to say this to you because I don't want to look at them. Cause they, you, you, look, you pay attention. I don't know these people. Not one damn thing. Not one damn thing. I don't owe you anything. Nor do you owe me anything. But let's get the base point clear. I don't owe you anything. You know what? In fact. Here, take this, it's yours. You can have it. Because I don't want anybody to say that they gave it to me. I don't want anybody to say, wow, we put that around his waist. No, I don't want that at all. Because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, I'm still going to be me, you're still going to be you. Unfortunately, you're still going to be you. That's the first point. Take it. Let me give you an example. I don't owe you not a damn thing, not an explanation, not a reason, not my life story, not a backstory, not a bedtime story. I don't owe you a bit of counseling, I don't owe you anything. If your mammy and your daddy didn't give it to you, and if Almighty God didn't give it to you, what are you looking at me for it for? Huh? Listen, case in point today, I go to a meeting. I'm waiting in the lobby. And some mealy mouth inbred. He comes out of nowhere. I from out under a rock. Looking like some some messed out John Cena clone with the long jean shorts and whatnot and the gym sh a grown man wearing gym shoes. And he gets to asking questions. The first question is, are you waiting on somebody? And I answer, I said, yeah. He asked you that? Yeah, he asked me. Anna. He was there. It was fair. It was fair. So I say, because they're always allowed one. You're always allowed one. And I say, yeah. Hence me being in the waiting room. So he goes on to ask me more questions. I'm this close to saying, whoa, 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 detective. Where's your badge and gun? Show me a little bit of authority here. Because you're asking a lot of questions. Again, it goes back to, I don't know you a damn thing. However, he keeps persisting. In the real world, Paul, we call that harassment. I show you I'm annoyed. You keep doing this. But it didn't stop there. No, it didn't stop Please there. Please tell me it did stop there. It, You know, it should have stopped there after the little girl asked me, do you want to fight me? <laughs> Please tell me you showed mercy, Kim. Please tell me you showed mercy. 
I laughed in his face because it was such a joke. It wasn't even a question of mercy, Paul. It was a joke. It was a joke. I laughed in his face and you know what he did? He slinked back in the back like any good little John Cena clone would do with his little jean shorts and his little sneakers. And he crawled right back up under the rock that he came from. As he should. I go down to take care of some more business. And here's another one of them. Coming out the woodwork with the shaggy hair and the saggy fun bags. Usually I, I usually don't judge. But here she goes. Are you waiting for uh, Nina? Again, you're allowed one. Simple answer. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Please tell me that they didn't ask any more questions. Surely that was enough. It was like a bad episode of Law and Order, Paul. Again, where's the badge and gun? Where is it? Where's the muscle to justify? Where's the crime? Where's the investigation, detective? And again, with the questions where a wise man once said, don't ask scary questions if you don't want scary answers. And it turns out, Paul, that I give out a lot of scary answers if people stick around long enough. I've been hearing complaints, Paul. I've been hearing complaints, and that's why I'm here now, because obviously it's a, it's, it's a serious matter where I'm concerned. Complaints towards you? I know, right? I've been hearing complaints about how I talk. What I talk about, Paul, for Christ's sakes. What I say out my mouth, what I write on a little pencil pad, what I, and how I breathe, how I look. How I dress, Paul. How I dress? I dress like a grown man. And you know, I talk like a grown man. I write like a grown man. I, everything I do, I do as a grown man. Ask anyone who knows me. And that's a little scary to some people, Paul. There have been accusations of intimidation. Can you believe that? You? Intimidation! Me! No such thing. Intimidation! If anybody is intimidated, you are intimidated by the situation. The situation is real. There, there, there is no doubt that the situation is real, but your fear, my friend, is your own. I can't control it. I can't help you. I can't. I've heard complaints about the product. The product, Paul. The performance. And that's where, uh, that's when I gotta start doing this, just like the rest of them. I gotta start doing this like the rest of them because now I feel like I gotta defend the product, Paul. May I? Yes. May I? As your advisor, your closest friend, this is true. May I say that I am going to be looking into these issues? You know what? You know what, Paul? I hate to, I hate to interrupt. I've looked into the damn issues, and the issue is null. It's void. There isn't an issue. The issue is with them. The issue is deep within. I can't help you. Your daddy couldn't help you. Your mammy couldn't help you. Almighty God can't help you. Dr. Phil can't help you. So what makes you think I can help you? Huh? Hell, I've been told I need a little bit of help my damn self. Paul, can you believe that? Actually, I can believe that. You've seen some of the things I've done. Oh, God, it's almost God awful. I admit to that. However, I remember when, the day when Paul came to me, he said, Kid, I see what you're doing. Right, I see what you're trying to do. Better than that, I see what you should be doing. You come down, you need to be making a difference. You need to get out of the slums. You need to get out of the minor leagues. You need to get off the Chitlin circuit, kid. And you need to get up with the big boys. You need to realize that wherever you may roam, that is where you will rule, my friend. Paul told me, he said, you know what? I believe in the products. Hell, I even believe in you. But more, overall, I believe in the business and the evolution of the business. And when I see you and I see what you can do, I see the evolution of the business. And that's the bottom line. I'm not going to let Paul down. I'm not going to let Jet down. I'm not going to let me down. It's not going to happen. Not at all. So let's lay a few things down. You don't like what I say. Hell, I don't like 
some of the things I say. I don't like some of the things I have to do. Hell, I don't like some of the things that you have to do. The things that we don't like in life, those are the things that make us stronger. Those are the things that make us have the ability. And speaking of ability, speaking of ability, kind of takes it back a little bit, don't you? You know what I'm saying? That word ability. Memory lane. Memory lane. Ability, another translation of ability. Woo! 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 A great man once told me, Paul, he said, you know what, this is going to hurt your feelings, little boy, but I love you, and I got to tell you, you're not better than anybody, but you're damn sure can be greater than. People have told me all of my life, you know what? You've always talked like you had money. You've always walked like you had money. You've always expressed yourself like you've had money. Whatever you've done, it's like you've had money. Oh, God. God forbid you get the money. Because then we're all really in trouble. What do you have? I have more than the money. Tell them. I got the ability. I got the talent. I got what it takes. I got all the right friends in the right freaking places. I got the right moves, the right faces. It's been proven time and time again. Time and time again, I don't need a dime to a dollar. I've always been able to make something out of nothing. Paul started off on the north side of Chicago. I remember me and Lee, boy, I tell you, it was, it was like Batman and Robin had a little bit of nothing. Made it happen. Made it happen. To the west, always have been. To the west side of Chicago, where I learned to fight the hard way. Oh yeah, when I say the hard way, that means I learned to take a punch, or two, or three, with a couple of sneakers upside the head. Then, the golden age comes, where I go down south. The wild hundreds, baby. You know what it's called, Mudville. It's almost impossible for anything to grow in Mudville. It's proof that the earth is evil by nature. That it's sent to destroy you, to make you suffer. But you know what? You grow. The more you evolve. One, two, three, four. You evolve. You were there, Paul. You were there. Oh, so long ago. And look where we're at now. I swear everything's changed, the situations have changed. I swear I've been through hell, crawled out of hell, right back in the hell. See, came back for a vacation. And guess what? Hmm. Paul just made a point. No more of this. No more of this. You keep your eyes open from here on out. Your mouth closed, your eyes open. You need something to believe in. Living this. Living this. Ability. Evolution. There's no stopping. Can't stop it. It won't stop. Monkeys, hit the music. Ladies and gentlemen, the champ has just left the building.